Buenos dias. Buenos dias. We're here for the morning market. Okay. What do you need? Ben. Good morning, guys, from San Felipe, Mexico. Just to fill you in on what we've been up to, we made it back from our uh, little car road trip across the country to go see Branson and Global Expedition Vehicles, and we've come to San Felipe for a week. We just needed a little bit of downtime, and last time we were here, I did some recording at this market on a, the Saturday morning market here at El Dorado Ranch, and somehow I deleted the footage. Well, I hope I don't misspeak, but I'm just gonna go as far as to just say El Dorado Ranch is an expat community out here, and you can really make a lot of your retirement pension and live very affordably and just have a lot of culture, and I really do see the appeal in having a nice little home down here in San Felipe. You're close to the States. If you ever have any medical situations that you need to urgently get back to, and there's a great sense of community here. So I'll take a minute and just show you guys a few of the things here. Everybody needs a Mexican blanket. Ooh, too bad I already bought enough coffee for our time here. Yes. Hola, buenos dias. Mmm, tamales. I'm pretty sure we're gonna stop and get some shrimp here. Here's the fishing tackle guy. Morning. Lots of uh, clothing options. Oh, had these guys' sausage last time. It's tasty. And then you also have a mix of regular old uh, swap meat items. Hey, what's that? VHS? And plenty of jewelry to choose from. I really love the metal handicrafts that you find in Mexico. This stuff is just beautiful. And I know we're going to be stopping here to uh, pick up some produce for the rest of our stay. You can find amazing stained glass artwork here. And I know, uh, I think we've seen this guy on the Malacan, but we've picked up some of this stuff before as gifts on previous visits. Hmm, what kind of vase is that? Ceramics over here. Got some plants if you have a home here and you can landscape your garden. More produce. What the heck is this thing? Hmm. Mmm. Fresh made churros. Churros, churros. <laughs> well, those cactus look really cool. We have vanilla. That's good stuff. Wow, these glasses are beautiful. Well, that's the gist of it. If you want to see more, you just have to come down to San Felipe and visit this little market. So this is fenced off because it's reserved for the uh, residents and their guests, but that's a very nice swimming pool and patio area. Well guys, I have an idea. Bear with me here for a sec. Okay, finally found it. Had to kind of weave our way through here, but I guess the sales office is by the uh, golf pro shop. Hey, good morning. What can I do for you? My name is Ben. Uh, we love San Felipe. We come down here all the time and we make YouTube videos. And I was curious if you guys do tours of the El Dorado Ranch property so we can yeah. share with people who may have fears, misconceptions, or have aspirations of My, my only agent on duty today just went out to go see a customer. Oh, that's okay. Can I set an appointment? Days or something? Yeah. yeah, cool. Okay, guys, we are all set for Monday morning at 9 a.m. for a tour of the property. This is gonna be exciting. I love sharing stuff like this and exposing you guys to new things. <laughs> hey, I love this stuff. So part of everyday life here in Mexico is stopping in to get some water on occasion. This place is our favorite place because when you come in, they clean your water bottles for you and refill them and you're going to be amazed at what it costs. If you want to, you can buy the fancy reusable bottles and we would if we were here all the time. See, he's going to wash them all up for us. And he's going to fill 
pull it up. Then he's gonna load them up. Nine pesos. Nine? Thank you. Nine pesos for six gallons of water. The current exchange rate is 18 pesos to a dollar, so 50 cents for six gallons of water, not a bad deal. Okay, over the past couple days, I've been an editing fool and I've been getting all the stuff uploaded at like wicked fast speeds. Like I'm getting these videos uploaded in a shorter amount of time than the video is, which is very impressive if you know anything about upload speeds. But I think I just got a slap on the wrist because I've been making a hotspot on my phone and I have no more LTE on my phone. But Rebecca still has a uh, LTE on her phone. You're gonna have to be really nice to me now. No surprise here, there's always something going on on the Malacon. It looks to us today like it's something to do with bikes because we've seen about a gazillion motorcycles since we got down here. They also had a cancer run this morning that we saw when we were headed out to the uh, Saturday morning market by the arches. So it's a busy day here today. Hey, there's a arctic cat prowler right behind us like ours look at that somebody stole our arctic cat i don't know guys what do you think you know could you live and you know granted the summers are wicked hot but could you live in most of the year or part of the year in a place like this i don't know if we're ready to settle down but man there is a certain appeal to a place like this guys they have the road blocked off, so we're going to have to turn around. And luckily, we picked a restaurant to eat at that has uh, parking in the back. Well, it definitely pays off to have a little bit of uh, local knowledge as to where to park. Thank you. We really love the restaurants here because they're dog friendly. We have grandma for lunch, mom, and the puppy game. I think I might have even sweet-talked the waitress into making a fresh batch of a homemade tortilla chips. I don't know, you've heard me say it like she likes bathtubs. I just, I love those homemade tortilla chips. Uh, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Benny's a happy camper. Hot, fresh tortilla chips. A margarita on the rocks. Life, gosh, this is a good life down here, guys. Finally, someone fed him some fresh tortilla chips. So I'm not being ridiculous, guys. These are, they're good. Don't get me wrong, but they're kind of produced in a factory. And these are the tortilla chips that they just cut up right here and put them in the fryer. It makes all the difference in the world. And Shelber is very, very comfortable in this environment. Got a little bottle of water. Lots to look at. It's a happy little duck or dog. Duck. Lunch is served. Grandma got some coconut shrimp, and those things are huge. And like always, Beck and I are gonna split it, but this is a mixed cocktail. Probably shrimp, octopus, and clams, and maybe oysters. And then those are shrimp tacos, which you dress yourself with that stuff in that little thing over there. All right, well, our next fun activity for the day required putting on dirty clothes because we're gonna go have fun. So this is our Airbnb. It was, what, 68 a night? 61 a night. Oh, 61 a night. And sometimes you win some and you lose some. And I acknowledge we're in a foreign country. The inside of the house is really nice. Aside from we had to spend probably a combined with all of our efforts, like five or six hours cleaning it up. But, and this one breaks my heart, there's a dog that's just tied off to a tree and they just throw it scraps of food. And this house across the street, you're used to unkept dogs in foreign countries. You know, that's just a reality. But this house has like five unkept dogs. But when you travel, sometimes things like this happen. You know, the reviews on Airbnb were good enough but you know it's hard sometimes but you just can't get too wrapped up in it well you'll remember who we're gonna hang out with this afternoon when we were down here last time we went over and checked out his Airbnb it's Carrie and he just started a dune buggy tour business oh, yeah. oh you got your hands full I do. 
Good to see you, dude. Yeah, how you doing? Great. How are Good to you? See you? You guys introduce yourselves over there. Yeah. 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 Well, it's funny we drove by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went. We drove past you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're in the, you guys are living in the same development. Area. Yeah. I love Volkswagens. Okay, guys, we're switching cameras. GoPro Hero 5 Black and the Mavic Pro Drone. working the lettuce. Oh, so man. now I'm working right here and happy. Mm -hmm. Forgive the audio because it is the Hero 5 Black in the Karma Grip, but that was a lot of fun. Yeah. We've never been to uh, this part of Valley of the Giants. We're all part of the uh, Wet Ass Club <laughs> because it's been raining. Hi. Are you willing to show your wet ass? Woo! There. Now you can show my wet ass. <laughs> Needless to say, there's been plenty of jokes about it. Well, it's always a good time here at Cali Baja Condos. Thanks, buddy. Hey. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming for a ride. And there we go. Look them up when you come down to San Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> a quick trip to the grocery store to get supplies for dinner. 0.5 kilo bacon. Gracias. All right, guys, wrapping this video up. Thanks for joining us today. It felt really good to get all three cameras out again. Uh, just with the level of travel we've been up to, it's, you know, getting the drone and the GoPro, just, it hasn't worked. And, you know, you know I love kind of being creative and catching awesomeness for you. Uh, dinner's on the grill. Some bacon-wrapped asparagus and some onions pork chops with barbecue sauce and a couple pork chops with Mexican seasoning. So thanks for joining us. Rebecca's making me a cocktail. Today is a wrap. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later.